Hey guys, what is up? It is Rosa and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be checking in for week one and two of November. So let's just go ahead and get started. If you guys like these kind of budgeting videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't enjoyed the Bright Patch family and we have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 I'm. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. Girl. Before we get started, I do want to let you guys know all of the items that are used in today's video. If you guys haven't seen me set up my November budget, I will leave both videos down below. Moving forward, it's going to be one video, but this November I ended up doing two videos. Didn't like it, so we're going back to the one video format of setting up the budget. So definitely go ahead and check out the two videos down below if you guys want to see me set this up. This kit is from Samantha, aka Stickadelic, on Etsy. And then the kit that I'm using for my weekly check-in is from my other friend, Romina. Um, Romina Rosa is her store name as well as her YouTube. Or her YouTube is, I think it's also Romina Rosa actually. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start with November 1st, which was our payday, our payday for this first two weeks. And the first item that I purchased was a grocery run. I went to Trader Joe's. Oh, by the way, the pens that I'm using are by Erin Condren. They're the dual tip markers in the Twilight Pack. And then the, the actual planner that I use is the 8.5 by 11 Erin Condren planner. All right, so yes, the first item we're gonna talk about today is a grocery run that I made on Friday because we had no groceries due to the blackout the previous month. So this was our first time actually going grocery shopping. So I went to Trader Joe's and purchased some stuff and the groceries were 95, or sorry, $98. Next was some hair products. I decided that I wanted to dye my hair red, so I did end up purchasing some hair products. My hair is like burgundy now, so like a dark, dark, dark brown burgundy, which wasn't what I wanted, but it actually is a pleasant surprise. So I did buy hair products. Oops, I had to spell that wrong. And that was $29.99. And then finally, uh, Richard ended up picking up some Taco Bell for himself, so that was $8. Okay, and that is everything that we spent on Friday. Then on Saturday, I did pay for my school, but we also had a couple of other options, <laughs> other items come up. So the first thing was $4 for parking. I did end up going to the dentist, so I had to pay for parking. They don't reimburse because it's street parking. Next, I spent $60 to take my grandma out for her birthday lunch. We went to somewhere called Beach Chalet, which is a restaurant next to Ocean Beach in San Francisco. And so I took, it's a really nice brunch place, so I took her there and we walked there and we walked back because my grandmother lives pretty close to that area. So I just did birthday lunch. And then Richard picked up some items for the UFC fight that he was watching that day. He picked up uh, some stuff from his work. So that was $30 UFC. And then finally, Richard bought lunch that day for work uh, from Chipotle. So that was $14. So that was everything for Saturday the 2nd. Now we're going to go into the third and this was a fall back daylight savings time and I only made one purchase on the third which was for stickers so I did pick I purchased some stickers for December and it was $38.69 and that was the only purchase I made on the third. On the fourth, we made more purchases and I'm gonna go ahead and take these. These are from Stickadelic as well. It came with this kit and we're gonna start with the copper colors first because I really like them. The first item was an actual grocery run that Rich went to the grocery store and it was $205 for groceries. I do wanna let you guys know that we live in the Bay Area which is close to San Francisco and here it's just really expensive. Everything is really expensive. We're gonna, we're gonna go over our $700. I'm just gonna let you know right now for the variable expenses. So it was 205, oops, grocery. Next, I did end up purchasing some Chinese food for that day for lunch, I'm pretty sure. So that was $14. I haven't done that since because that was a lot of money. Then I spent $3.93 picking up a couple of sodas because I think, I don't remember what we were eating that night for dinner, Rich and myself, but I really want, oh, Richard made wings that night, I remember. Richard made wings that night and I thought doctor, having a Dr. Pepper or a Diet Dr. Pepper with it would be awesome and let me tell you it was so 
That is also under the eating out category. Oh, wait, okay, November 5th, I did make a purchase on Thrive. I make a monthly purchase on Thrive every month because I pay for their service. I actually ended up paying their bill this month. I won't have to pay at all for the rest of the year, but I pay $60 a year to be part of Thrive, and it's just a marketplace online. It's kind of like Vitacost or Herbalife. Not Herbalife, sorry, iHerb you can pick up things for your dietary restrictions. So I picked up a lot of keto things like keto bars and stuff like that for work um, and then other snacks for the house. So I did my little run there. And then we did make two purchases on the 6th, but we're actually not spending any money that day because I took out of our sinking fund, which we will put into our transaction log actually right now before I forget. I am going to put down a no spend sticker, even though we did technically spend but we spent out of our and this sticker book is by the happy planner stickers and i use like these stickers for my no spend as of right now i'll probably change it after but we did not spend anything on the sixth but we did spend some sinking fund stuff so i am gonna go ahead and put that into this now so i'm just gonna zoom out so this is our sinking fund fund spreadsheet so i'm gonna go into transactions and we made two transactions that had to do with the sinking fund. The first transaction was some shirts that Richard needs. So it was in from our voluntary fund. And I, the date was November 6th. The amount was $26. Description was work shirts. And then next was another voluntary. Yes, voluntary because gifts like impractical gifts are under voluntary and we this was also on the sixth we spent 107 dollars and that was for a blu-ray player we needed to get a blu-ray player for disney plus and i'm going to talk about that in a minute because we really didn't have to get this blu-ray player to be honest we got really confused with the whole disney plus thing and a new blu-ray player we bought a blu-ray player from sony amazing blu-ray player loved it Realize that it can't connect, that Sony does not. They are not able to stream Disney Plus for some reason, like you can't get the app on the Sony device. So we ended up returning it back to Amazon, getting our 107 back and buying another Blu-ray player that was by Samsung, because we were, we were told Samsung Blu-rays can uh, play Disney Plus. Again, did not happen, but we kept this Blu-ray player because we ended up buying something else, which I will tell you about in a second. So if you guys are trying to upgrade your Blu-ray player, there's no point because Disney Plus is not able to play on any Blu-ray player. You have to have like something else. So I'll talk about that in a minute. But that was that. And as you can see, we have $348 in our voluntary. So I am gonna have to take out some money there. I'm gonna go back to the sinking fund in a bit um, because we do have more that's gonna come out of that sinking fund. So let's go back and go to the 7th of November. All right, so the 7th of November, we uh, Richard spent $19 at BevMo. He was just getting some stuff for the house. And this is going to be grocery. And then we're on to week two now. So week two was also kind of a little bit of a spendy week. The first day was November 8th and we spent money on three items. I ended up getting myself a lunch because I thought I deserved it. And I got myself a Poke Bowl, which... Uh, I don't actually crave them anymore because I did start um, having a new snack that's been really keeping me satiated, um, which I can talk about if I ever end up doing a Thrive video. But if you guys are interested to know what the snack is, comment down below and I'll just answer you there. But it was 20. Next was I went to go see my friend Lena and we went to go get some sushi. So that was eating out. Eating out was 25.50. And this is also eating out actually. Okay. And then I officially had to fill up my gas. Like I had to fill up my car with gas. So gas, I decided to screw it and like do the whole thing instead of just doing $40 because I was getting annoyed having to fill up my gas every week. So I went to the max and for gas, I filled up $57.93 because that's how much our gas is. Again, welcome to California where we cannot live on $700 a month. So that was that. On the 9th, Richard, I think, 
Richard bought Chipotle for lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down Chipotle, eating out. He's, he does better than me though because I spend too much money when I eat out, but he's pretty good with that. And then that was everything for the 9th. Now the 10th I went thrifting and every time I have a big thrifting day, I like to eat fast food. It's just like a really like, it's kind of like a prize for me of doing a good job. I know that sounds terrible, but I like it. And I ended up going to the Savers in Redwood City. So I ended up going to the In-N-Out there and I got a protein style, animal style, double, double, sandwich with a diet coke and a sandwich a burger so basically i get animal style burger in a protein bun which is their lettuce bun and then i get a diet coke which is a medium and that was eating out and that was 650 and i was like oh my god this is so cheap i need to eat it in and out more often because it was so cheap so it was 650 and that was everything for the 10th. Now for the 11th, Richard um, bought some more items at the grocery store. And, oh, why am I using this? I don't need to use this. Um, and he spent $20 at the grocery store. As you can see, we go to the grocery store a lot. <laughs> and then we actually ended up eating out as well. His friend came over to watch the Niners game. So we ended up getting wings at this place in San Francisco. His friend came in and went and picked it up and brought it. It's called like Halal Wings or something. And it was eating out. And it was $25 for Richard and myself, which is a lot cheaper than what it normally is. So I was happy about that. All right, so on November 12th, Richard had to actually get gas that day. So he spent $59, I'm pretty sure it was. So gas, $59. And then that was everything for the 12th. The 13th, um, Richard did buy some more groceries. Um, we were running out of some more items, believe it or not, but he needed to go and, oh, why do I, I don't know why I keep doing that, but whatever. Um, he spent $17 at the groceries and then I had to buy new razors. You know, I'm a, I'm a chick. I need razors. So razors were $9.25 on Amazon. So I'm going to say that's grocery as well, just because it was needed. It wasn't like something that like I didn't need, if that makes sense. And today when I'm filming this video is the 14th. And I spent um, $26.97 on Poshmark. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because I can actually, if I wanted to, I could use our sinking funds, but I'm not going to for this because it's fine. Um, I wanted to buy a pair of Fabletic leggings. I can't find my size ever, so I went on Poshmark to look for some leggings and I found some really cute ones for kind of cheap. So I ended up spending, I bought them for 20 bucks. So I ended up paying $26.97 for them. And then we, okay, so here we go talking about freaking Disney Plus again. So we realized that Disney Plus only plays on like really trendy millennial type devices. So like a Blu-ray player doesn't do squat. You need to have at least, you need to have an Amazon Fire Stick or a Chromecast or an Apple TV or like an Apple app or whatever BS millennial crap. And so we ended up becoming very trendy and buying a Chromecast, which by the way, we're like obsessed with and we've only had it for like under six hours, but we're like all about the Chromecast. So Rich went to Target because we needed to watch The Mandalorian on the big screen today. So he went to Target today and bought a Chromecast and the Chromecast was $35. And it's only a one-time fee, which I didn't know about. Um, but my coworker has a Chromecast and she says, she says it's only a one-time fee. Um, so that was $35 and tomorrow we are going to get paid. So that is the first two weeks of the month. So I, my weeks are from Fridays to Thursdays because it's easier for us because we get paid on Fridays. So it's a lot easier to be able to go ahead and do that kind of situation 
instead of doing it like Sunday to Monday or whatever. So now I'm gonna go ahead and calculate all of this. I know that this is a lot, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the Chromecast and put into our transaction log as well because we really didn't need to get this right now um we could have waited but i'm gonna put the chromecast in there as well 11 14 35 dollars chrome cast so i'm actually going to go ahead and take that out from here and I put it into the transaction log. So let's go ahead and calculate the transaction log first because I don't foresee us buying anything else the rest of the month. So I'm gonna go ahead and calculate quickly our transaction log. So we started out with $348 in our sinking fund for voluntary. So we're gonna minus 26, minus 107, and minus 35. And now we have 180 in our um, sinking fund for voluntary so we're gonna do uh, actually 180 for our ending here I know we're kind of far but this part isn't really too important for you guys to see like so we're at $180 so that's what we have for our voluntary right now which is not very good but it's okay we're still at positive for that so I'm not worried about it okay so I'm going to go ahead and like speed through this part to music and then show you guys the total in a second because I know this might take a long time because I'm doing two weeks instead of one week. So I'm going to start out with, I'm going to do groceries, gas, entertainment, eating out, and unbudgeted, and I'll be right back after I'm done with week one. So these are our totals for week one. So we're gonna go ahead with what we're remaining in week one starting out with is $700. So let's see where we are because I'm pretty sure we're done. <laughs> so 398.57 plus 38.69. This is for the stickers. I do consider stickers as entertainment because I have a good time doing it and I'm paying to do something that I have a good time doing. So I've considered that entertainment. And then we didn't pay, spend any money on gas that week. So did not gas. Eating out is 129.93. And then unbudgeted is 33.88. So we definitely spent some money. So our total is $611.07. So we basically did balance basically, except for what, like $81. So let's see what week two has in store for us. And let's go ahead and get started. Our only hope is to forget And keep that passage closed for centuries Cause I can take it anymore Forgetting what I'm fighting for. Okay, so here is our week two. So we spent 46 25 on grocery. 116.93 on gas, zero on entertainment, 26.97 for unbudgeted, and $91 for eating out. So our total for this week is actually very good. <laughs> our total for this week is um, $281.15. So that's what we spent this month. And then we're going to do 611.07 plus 281.15. And we are now at, oh, wait, how did I do this? How did I do this? I don't know. I think I like messed up a little bit. So we're going to do the remaining, we're going to do the start here, $700. We're gonna put the remaining here, like what we spent. This is what we spent. This is our total for now 
is 892.22 for week one plus week two. So I'm just writing down the total here. So when we do three and four, I know what we started with. So we have spent so far $892.22 on our variable expenses. So my goal is to spend less than a thousand, but my super goal would be to spend less than 700 on our variable expenses. Now, again, I like to reiterate, I do live in a very expensive area. So everything around us is gonna be very expensive. Not to mention, I did eat out a couple of times, but you know what? You can't just like not never eat out. Like that's just, I mean, you can if you wanted to. Do I want to? No. Would I force Rich not to eat out? No. So we want to live our lives. It's just, you just have to monitor what you're spending your money on. So it's not like we spend our money on nothing. I could have just not dyed my hair. We could have saved $27, but really like sometimes you got to have a good time. So everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs way, way up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Join the Bright Patch fan. Remember we have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 I'm, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Blah, blah, blah. Yo, what's up? I'm the bad hatter. I'll pour you tea, please don't let it splatter. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the mad hatter. <laughs>